guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn about the table layout so table layout is used to display the details of some specific table from the database it can be used to make the sign up form and it can be used for entering the detail of any product page so in this video we will take the example of a sign up form of a student in a class so stay tuned and watch the video till the end So guys let's create a new project from here click the empty activity click next and from here write the table layout demo app we are okay with the package name location and language click finish button let's wait a while until android studio makes the project ready for us So guys our project is ready now let's come towards our layout file and from here let me hide some windows to see the things clearly so here we have constraint layout which is the parent layout for designing our screen from here we can delete the text view and from the palette select the layout and from here you can see table layout so you can click and drag and drop in the constraint layout so guys so there are two ways to enter the table layout you can either enter in the constraint layout and set the constraint the other way is to use the table layout as the parent layout for this you will have to copy this xmln s entity and you can delete it from and you can delete the constraint layout as a parent layout and from here you can paste the xmlns entity for table layout so you can see here our error are gone and we are okay with it so for the moment we will take we will revert back the changings and we will use the constraint layouts for entering the table layout let's shift on the design mode and from here select the table layout select the attributes from here and set the constraints to the edges of the constraint layout that is our parent layout so okay guys our all constraints are set now by default we have the four rows in the table layout and we can enter as many rows as possible let's drag a text view from here and drop in the table row you can enter as many text views and widgets in the table row so let let me enter another text view and you can see here it is coming side by side in the same way we can change the text of the text views we can write class and from the text view another text view we can write 2021 so we can also change the fonts so from here we can change the text size to 24 and for the 2021 we can also repeat the same process so now we can see the things more visibility so we will control the space and the padding after a while so first of all let's complete the sign up form and from the text view right here first name and in the same way we will write the text field And repeat the same process for the third row and we can write it as last name 
in the same way we can enter any widget into our table row let me enter the three buttons so you can see here my second button has a large space because it has taken the space according to the text field which is already present here so if you want any widget to take the two rows or three rows you can change its weight for this let's go to the code let me split it and uh, from here we can see our edit text and we can change its weight layout weight so if i will write the two it will automatically take the two columns of my table layout and you can see here it has taken the two column and it has just taken the first column let me control their font size as well So we can also change the text of the buttons. While entering the record. So guys, our sign up form is completed and we can see our table layout blueprint on the right side of, of our screen so we can also change the background color of our complete table so it has changed the color of complete table layout this is not the practical case we can also change the background color of a complete row let me give some so it has set the background color for a complete table row in the same way we can also add the margin space on the top and we can also control the padding here So you can see here now it has taken appropriate padding in the same way we can change the padding for individual text view as well or for the better side we can we can change the margin left suppose i will give it 20 px and you can see here my class is now 20 px so my text view class is placed 20 px from the left side so guys in the same way we can change any background color padding margin for any table row or column or widget in our table layout so let me build and compile the application and see our application in action So guys, as you can see here, our table layout and sign up form is visible in our application. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like, share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel. See you in next video.